Hey guys, Wagwan. We're back with uh, CAPE Integrated Mathematics Past Paper Question. All right, it's from the May June 2019 paper. And this is a first order differential equation question. Okay, and it says that we are to obtain an expression for y if dy by dx is equal to 5x plus e to the power of 2x. Okay, now. We're going to solve this first order differential equation using the method of separation of variables. Okay, so we're going to separate the variables. So we're going to separate the x variable and the y variables. All right. So let us start. So let me write our solution here. Solution. Good. So we are given dy by dx, dy by dx is equal to 5x plus e to the power of 2x, all right? Now I can separate the dy by dx like this, right? One over dx times dy, right? So if I can do that, then I could write this equation as dy is equal to 5x, plus e to the 2x all times dx, right? I hope you can see that. Okay. So have we separated the variables? Yes, we have. Clearly you can see that you you can see that the y variables is on one side of the equation and the x variables is on the other side of the equation. All right. Now the other step from here is to integrate both sides of the equation. Let's do that. So we're going to integrate, all right? We're going to integrate with respect to y there, and we're going to integrate with respect to x here, all right? Good. So just to refresh your memory some rules. So recall, if you're gonna have the integral of ax to the power n, then that is equal to ax to the power of n plus one over n plus one plus c, right? Where n is not equal to negative one and n is a real number. Okay, and also if you're going to integrate e to the power of ax with respect to x, then that is equal to e to the power of ax divided by the derivative of the power, that's a plus c, all right? Where a is a real number. Okay, good. So let us do that here now. So we're gonna integrate dy. Now, if you recognize, there's actually a one in front of the dy there, okay? So when I integrate one with respect to y, I will get y, all right? You can, you can visualize it as y to the power zero, all right? So you know you add one to the power and divide by the new power. So it will become y to the zero plus one, which is y to the one, divided by one, right? Which we can just write as y. So y is equal to, when we integrate five x with respect to x, what would we get? Well, we have to add, we have to add one to the power, right? So let me just write that over here. We're finding the integral of five x plus e to the two x with respect to x. So we're adding one to the power, so that will become two and divide by the power two, all right? Plus, if I want to integrate e to the power two x following this rule here, I will get e to the power two x divided by the derivative of the power two x, which is two, plus my arbitrary constant of integration c, okay? Now, I recognized that a half is a common factor in both of the terms, in the first two terms there, right? So I can now say that therefore, y is equal to, I can factor out a half, and in brackets, I will have 5x squared 
plus e to the power 2x remaining, all right? Plus my arbitrary constant of integration c, okay? And this is known as, this here is known as the general solution, all right? The general solution, good. And that is the solution to this past paper question. This was actually five marks in your exam, all right? And it was very simple, okay? So I hope it was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like and comment, all right? And also subscribe to the channel. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.